every day in Africa, there's a lion that'll wake up. There's a lion that'll wake up, and he's gonna say to himself, today, I just have to be the faster and the slowest gazelle. That's what he'll say to himself. I just have to be faster than the slowest gazelle. And then there's a gazelle that's gonna wake up and say, today, I just have to be faster than the slowest lion. And you look at those two perspectives and you realize, hey, when it comes down to it, we just got to get moving. We, we got to put some things into action. Uh, we, we can't just sit around. If the lion sits around, he doesn't eat, which means he starves to death. If the gazelle sits around, it'll get killed. Self-discipline keeps them going and saying, I got to push myself every day. I got to get up and get moving. Because if I don't sprint faster than uh, the slowest uh, lion, I'm going to get eaten. If I don't sprint faster or faster than the slowest gazelle, okay, I'm not going to get food today. Self-discipline keeps us going right from the jump. And it does. It starts right when you wake up this morning. Okay, whether you wake up at 4 o'clock or 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock, no matter what time you wake up, that self-discipline says, all right, now it's time to go. Uh, the alarm went off on me today, and I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to go get it. I'm talking about self-discipline in class, so I better discipline myself to not stay in bed five more minutes or hang out or, or get off my game. I got to get going. So which one are you going to be, whether it be the lion or gazelle? Either way, you got to get up and you got to get pushing. You got to get moving. Mm -hmm.